Sentosa is an extraordinary place. Something of this nature in a city such as Singapore could only be extraordinary. We found ourselves at the beginning of a new journey, which is a product of many years work and a leadership philosophy. Everybody, Selamat pagi. Our work on sustainability has reached a new level of significance within our business and quite frankly, across the Sentosa Group and the world. I don't think we'll ever lose that deep-rooted passion for excellence, that desire to be the best, to further our reputation amongst the world's best courses. But our considerations have shifted more than ever with the regards of climate change. The cliff's edge is in plain view. And unless we take more action as an industry, the damage will become irreversible. As things stand, major changes are required to prevent a two degrees rise in global average temperatures. Without drastic measures, the world will change forever. The data isn't new. The alarming levels with which reports signal material damage to the planet has injected a greater sense of urgency. We have to make a collective change if we are going to survive. That's just the facts. Whilst we have a remarkable sustainability program, we are driving for more innovative practices that can mitigate carbon impacts. How can we champion carbon neutrality? And what will it take? Our view is that we have a responsibility we have been blessed with the commitment of our owners and stakeholders to accelerate our outlook, to share more clearly on how Sentosa Golf Club is approaching its modern ways of working blends. Our dedication to leadership and our desire to elevate the knowledge sharing as well as understanding in and throughout the sport. Our view is that we can come together as a global golf community and share insights on how the smallest measures can have a lasting benefit. Our mission has been to embrace a mindset that demarks the fact that the time is now. We need to change habits and increase awareness. The good news is measures already exist and champions are already in pursuit of material changes to agronomic and operational practice that can help reverse the tide and address the major issues we are facing. We just need to find a stronger voice. Game on signifies our strategy. Why? Because it isn't game over. The sustainability journey that we've had has been an exciting one. The amazing thing is our sustainability initiative, which was started by Andy Johnson, our GM, has been embraced by the staff and by members. I couldn't be more proud of the way that things have happened since we've started this journey. We've done things in a systematic and positive way. We've done small things in F&B, we've done things in golfing operations, and we've done things in maintenance of the golf club. So different aspects of the club's operations have been involved in the sustainability journey. Sustainability is one of our major thrusts uh, for the island. And everyone that works here, including our partners, are aligned towards trying to make this place into a showcase of what sustainability can do. And as a result of which, the staff as well as visitors are encouraged to look at our best practices and look at how we can positively contribute to this. There's a lot of discussion around the world about the decline in bee population. I've heard figures of bee populations down up as much as 75% worldwide. I've, I've also heard people say it could be the beginning of the end of the world. 
may not be the end of food, but there wouldn't be anything to repollinate our, our plant material, which is such an important part of our diet. Very true. Yeah. Um, I'm here with John Chong from Be Amazed, and we're at the Pyramid at uh, Sentosa Golf Club. Uh, this is the location that we, that we chose to start our bee colonies, our first bee colonies. And so we have many parts of our property that we can't use for golf yes. that are perfect for colonizing bees. Uh, we have four bee colonies uh, over here that, uh, that, that are very healthy and hope to grow into five colonies soon kind of ambitious of us, but we hope a year from now, maybe we have as many as 40 colonies. First, you have to have the desire to want to do something for the planet. It's easy for all of us, but if you have that, if you have that desire and that calling, we all have so many spaces that we can't use. We, we need experts. We're not experts in bees, so we need experts to partner with. And as long as we have great partners, all of us could do something like this. Sentosa has always been a leader in environmental initiatives. You look at what they've done to reduce single-use plastics. They've introduced bee colonies on the golf courses and the Keep It Green campaign, which I introduced at the 2018 Singapore Open to educate spectators, players and viewers on what they're doing on the environmental front. Climate change is a real threat. We see rising sea levels, intense rains, increased droughts. These are a real threat to the golf industry that we need to take note of in the future. Here on the, the Tanjong course uh, of our two golf courses here at Sentosa, and this is one of our reservoirs. All the lake systems on the, the Tanjong course are interconnected. We're the drainage basin for this part of the island. So when it rains, we collect all the rainwater in these reservoirs. And then we reuse that water for our irrigation water. We then took it one step further. We engineered a single head control irrigation system. And the single head control irrigation system gives us maximum control over how we irrigate. For instance, you can see the golf course isn't flat. There are high spots and low spots. So the high spots dry down faster. And we can, we can give the high spots when they need to be irrigated, seven minutes, and the low spots maybe two minutes, 30 seconds. The software is so intelligent now we can run it to the nearest second rather than the nearest minute. So re-engineering the irrigation system to go to single head control, you know, it could be a game changer for some facilities. With all that's happening with climate change and its impact on rising sea levels, and we are in an island, I think it is important for us to showcase to not only to Singaporeans but to the rest of the world that we can make a difference. And that by generally doing things in an environmentally friendly way, we can make an impact in our small way to the environment. I think there's no doubt that the good work and all the things that the club has completed uh, has placed SGC at the world stage. They signed the UN Sport for Climate Action the initiative and being the first club to do so in the world, I think that will further raise the awareness of uh, Singapore's commitment as well as Sentosa's commitment to the sustainability agenda. And I think the Game On initiative is, is a great one, right? Because it offers people, you know, and, and operators around the world some inspiration and also an opportunity to adopt some of the core principles in how the agronomic as well as operational model that they can use. And what it means is if they do so, uh, perhaps we can offer better facilities on the ground and also improve the game of sports uh, worldwide. Game On finds its origins in SGC's pioneering approach to environmental best practice. It is also a product of Singapore's positive mindset towards addressing climate change. As the world continues its seemingly exonerable march towards irreversible climate change, golf has yet to find a method through which it can 
galvanize its 61 million players worldwide. We believe that unifying golf's stakeholders under a single mindset to formalize a compelling response from the sport regarding climate change is the route to making positive and lasting impact. Drawing on the leadership and a progressive work of our partners, the RNA and GEO Foundation, there is an opportunity to embed change for good. It has shaped our construction work over the past 10 months on the Serapong. We have looked closely at the historic operational intel and what the golf course is telling us. This has allowed us to create a modern framework that prioritizes critical construction methodology that will give us the golf course at the optimal chance to flourish. The construction of our soil profile, how undulations support the movement of water, creating strong airflow corridors, all combine to make a difference and give us the cutting edge. We want to help champion how clubs can adopt and adapt new and better practices, as well as leading our support through education and showcasing our experiences of innovation and operations. This is the race to zero, zero carbon admissions. The objective has to be bold if we are to impart change, which requires us to tackle the grave issues presented by climate change in golf, bringing to life a narrative that presents a positive and productive way forward. We want to spark a more socially conscious consumer and environmentally cognizant industry to inspire the change required to make long-lasting impacts. We want to equip ourselves and others to champion modern practice to the betterment of the golf's game and sustainability without forgoing quality. This is our effort, our pledge to support a more united industry, helping direct collective energy towards the establishment of a new culture capable of affecting change. This is more than just social responsibility mission. This is the commitment to safeguarding not just our futures, but our children's futures and our children's children. Why has this become such a central issue for us? Because it matters. It couldn't matter more. In the time has to be now.